Boom, ba doom, ba doom, dee dee, boom. Oh, loo loo, little loo loo, little loo loo, with freckles on your skin, always in and out of trouble, but mostly always in. Using dad's necktie for the tail of your kite, using mom's lipstick for the letters you write. Little loo loo, little loo loo, loo there's no one quite as smart. Doesn't matter what you're doing, you're doing it with your heart. Shiny girls are dancing, there's a sparkle in your eye. When can we look forward to your next surprise? What a surprise! Oh, the clock says 7.30, it's really after 10. Looks like Lulu's been repairing it again. Blow your wine, Why? you know it's true, Lou. And you're very hard to take. Little Lulu, we love you, Lou, just the same, the same. Little Lulu, we love you, Lou, just the same. for a quick room cleaning. First, there's the fast way. Bring everything that's making the mess to your best friend's room, and when it's time to clean her room, switch back. A faster way? Push everything into a big pile, throw a blanket over the top, and tell your mom it's a new beanbag chair. And everyone knows the fastest way, shove everything into your closet. But if you do that, you better stay tuned for Lulu's tips for a quick closet cleaning. Tubby the detective is in business. Just 25 cents a case, two cases for, uh, uh, 60 cents. Tubby, I think I need a detective. 25 cents, please. Now, what's your problem? Every time us girls watch a movie during Annie's sleepovers, someone steals our popcorn. Oh, boy. Finally, a real crime. I'll catch the thief for you, Lulu. Hmm, when's the next sleepover? Tonight. But only girls are invited. Iggy even has to go stay at Willie's. No one will even know I'm there. I'll meet you outside Annie's house at 7 o'clock. Gee, thanks, Tubby. If Tubby doesn't show up, I'll ask for my quarterback. Uh, hi. <coughs> Tubby? Oh, my gosh! What are you doing dressed up like a girl? Well, only girls are invited, and I knew I'd make a pretty good girl. I like the name Doreen. So call me Doreen Dainty from Hollywood. If you say so, Tubby. But let's forget the Hollywood business. Hi, Lulu. Who's your friend? This is Doreen Annie. Doreen Dainty. From Hollywood. <laughs> Come on in. We're in the bathroom putting on makeup. Makeup? But what about the movie? What about the popcorn? I guess I forgot to tell you about the makeup part, Doreen. <laughs> Everyone, this is Doreen Dainty. Uh, from Hollywood? Oh, yes. Our help is definitely needed here. Oh, what do you mean? Uh, I don't need help. <gasps> Wait, I gotta do something with Doreen first. Are you sure about this glue, Lulu? This wig will never come off. Oh. If the girls try to curl your hair, we're done for. Lulu, Doreen, are you in here? I'm just powdering Doreen's nose. Poor Doreen. Come on, girls, Doreen is in trouble. Gee, Lulu, what did you do? Glue this powder on? Don't worry, Doreen, we'll fix you up just right. Wow, you're brave. You didn't even flinch when I pulled out your hair. Can we please watch the movie now? Okay, but first we have to get in our nightgowns. Doreen forgot to bring a nightgown. Oh, I have one that should fit you. Oh, 
Oh, that's nice of you. Doreen wears her mother's clothes all the time. Don't you have anything with the race cars on it? Now we'll find out who the thief is. Let's get this show on the road! Good popcorn! Could I please have some? Sure. Hey! It's gone! Oh, gone. Where? Oh, wow. Where? Where? The thief must have come through this open window. And where'd he go? Doreen will catch the thief. She's an even better detective than Tubby. Ouch! Let's watch the movie and stop worrying about the popcorn. We've got a whole box of candy to enjoy. <laughs> Would you like some popcorn? It's very good. Relax, Willie. It's me, Tubby. Huh? No way. Tubby would never wear a pink nightgown. Maybe a yellow one. And that hair. It's a wig, but Lulu glued it on. You're not gonna turn us in, are you, Tubby, old buddy? I won't, but you gotta do something for me. Climb back down and get the candy. Doreen, can I have some candy? Doreen? <gasps> Where'd she go? Do you think... Could she have been stolen, too? Something weird is going on. Come on, girls. Let's check out the house. Hurry up, you two. Doreen, <gasps> where are you? <gasps> Our, Our popcorn! popcorn! I, uh, I caught them red-handed, girls. <laughs> what do you mean, caught us? You want us to steal the candy, too. Come on, girls. Let's reel them in. <laughs> Doreen is Tubby, girls. I asked him to come solve the popcorn case. Ow, 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 I didn't ow. know he'd try to trick us out of all our snacks. What are we gonna do with them? They can watch the movie with us, but first we have to make some adjustments. There! Now all us girls can watch the movie together. See? It ain't so bad, guys. Yeah, at least we get some popcorn. Choosing a baby's name is tough, but not if you follow Lulu's name plan. First, decide what kind of kid you want, then pick the name. You want a tough kid? Name him Spike. A cheerleader? Name her Muffy. And of course, for a smart kid, Lulu. But please, don't name your kids because of what they're like as babies. I mean, who wants to go through life being called stinky? When girls get up in the morning, they have to shower, scrub, brush, floss, and blow dry. And boys, they just throw on some old dirty clothes and they're out the door. Mom says being dirty is in boys' jeans. Well, if you ask me, it's not just in their jeans. <laughs> it's on their shirts, too. gonna show those West Side boys. We'll stomp them into the ground until they're flatter than pancakes. 
Well, go get them. What are you waiting for? Are you kidding? Those guys are huge. Oh, oh look what they did. They ate my lunch. They crushed my the place. I wish they'd let us join their club. Then maybe we could help them get even. I'll ask my brother Iggy. Me and Iggy are just like that. Hey, Iggy, how about if he... Out! Whoa! Just for two minutes, I'd like to be as strong as an elephant. Then I'd wreck more than their clubhouse. The other day, when I held my arm a certain way, I think I saw a muscle. Wow, a gym! Let's look around. See? There's the muscle. But it's not very strong. I have to hold it up. I wish I were strong enough to lift this. Oh, Lulu, you're so strong. Oh, oh my gosh! Nothing. Look what Lulu's doing. I oh, don't believe look it. Look at that, it must weigh a ton. It's locked. Maybe there's a back way in. Somebody's coming. <laughs> and up, and up, and... Oh, I'll never get to my workout. Phew. Hey, there's the big dumbbell Lulu was lifting. That's a barbell, you dumbbell. I bet it's not as heavy as it looks. If Lulu can lift it, so can I. Hey, this is no place for kids. Scram! Yes, sir. We're going? We're going. When did Lulu get so strong? I just wish I could remember how I held my arm that time I saw a muscle. Hmm. Huh? What it did to that tree. Gosh. Wow. Get a load of Lulu. Gee, Willikers. She must have pulled that big tree out of the ground. Without even lifting a finger. I don't believe it. Let's see you pull out that one. Don't be silly, Tubby. That one isn't in our way. What are you doing, Tubby? No girl can be stronger than me. <laughs> Come on, Tubby. Come on, Tubby. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. Go. Oh. We need Lulu in our club. Good news, Lulu. We're going to let you two join our club. Oh, goody. At last, we're in. We've got big plans for you. Follow me, men. Guys. People. What's inside? Gosh, it's pretty bare, Tubby. Oh, we'll fill it soon enough once we raid the West Side Boys Clubhouse. Oops, sorry. She's gonna cream those West Side Boys. And then we should get her on the boxing circuit. There's a strongman competition coming up. And that guy in the gym. Oh, she could teach him some manners. Oh. Now we've got a big problem. They think I'm really strong. I can't take on all the West Side boys. Look, it's that tornado again. Yeah! Oh, what's going on? Oh, my gosh! Mama! Hey, Lulu, what are you doing? Go for it! Push down! Hey. Yikes! Oh. Next time, we'll really fix Tubby and his fraidy cats. Yeah! She ripped the door right off its hinges. Let's get out of here. We wanted you to beat the West Side boys, Lulu, but you didn't have to throw us at them. From now on, I vow never to use my great strength again. A word of
of advice to all you parents about bath time. Kids work hard at getting dirty. It's practically a full-time job. So if you want us to wash away all our hard work, you'll have to do better than tossing in a couple of plastic boats and a rubber ducky. Come on, tear out that old bathtub and put in a bath pool. Can't you just see it? Bubble fountains, wave machines, surfing, and dolphins. Then you never have to worry about getting us kids into a bath. You have to worry about getting us out. to go skiing for the first time. Oh. Hey, that was easy. But I better be careful not to break anything. Like my leg. Hi, Dad. Oh, I can't bear to watch. <laughs> oh, no, no, Lulu. That's not how you ski. How do you know? You've never skied before either. Ah, but I've watched it enough on TV, so I'm gonna go to Sky Top Mountain to practice. Wanna come? Sure, we can learn how to ski together. There's even a big ski competition today. We're not gonna go in it, are we, Tubby? Nah, it's for old people. You have to be over 16. But we can watch and maybe you'll learn something. Gosh, this mountain is really big and steep. You have nothing to worry about, Lulu. I'll protect you. Why, after today, you'll be a champion skier. Look out! <laughs> Good thing this bump was here. Whoa, whoa. Where am I? At the Sky Top Mountain Skiing Contest. But that's on Saturday. This is Saturday. And I've been buried since Tuesday. Ugh. I don't want to learn how to do that, okay, Tubby? Hmm. Neither do I. Oh. Gosh, I wish I could ski like her. Oops. <gasps> but I don't think I'll ever learn how to do that. That might be the first thing you learn. <gasps> What's that? I'm not sure, but... Wow! <gasps> wow! I skied, and I fell, and I'm alive! But not for long if I fall down this hill. Hey, look! There's the ski contest! He's flying like a bird. He's flapping his arms like one, too. He landed. They're picking him up. They're carrying him away. Birds don't have to be picked up and carried away. Birds don't ski. Oh, oh, gotcha! What are you doing, Lulu? I'm going to practice on a smaller hill. <laughs> I don't think there's such a thing as a smaller hill, Lulu. I'll tell the ambulance to stand by. Smarty. Lulu, what are you doing? Practicing, silly. Sorry, I didn't mean to jump the line. It's not your turn. And hey, you're just a little girl. Stop. I haven't even learned how to ski yet. Can you want me to stop? seen anything like it. Your friend is a fantastic skier. 
Well, she should be. I taught her everything she knows. She knows how to ski after all. At least I won't see what I hit. I hope those other skiers aren't mad at me for going ahead of them. Hello, Mr. and Mrs. Tompkins. Whoop. Wow, I skied. Now how do I stop? Oh, I guess this is how you stop. Happened to the mountain. Hey, little girl, what are you doing in the city dump? Uh, I was skiing at Sky Top Mountain. I think I better call the police. Police? But, but, I didn't mean to go before those other skiers. It was an accident. Hello, I have a little girl here at the city dump. She says she was skiing at Sky Top Mountain and. What's that you say? Okay. The police will be right over to pick you up. Gosh. Imagine putting a little girl in jail for jumping the line and going skiing. I wonder if they put handcuffs on little girls. You can sit in the middle, Lulu. Don't worry, Officer McNabb. I won't try to escape. You know, if I could do it over again, I'd wait my turn before skiing. Honest. Are all those people looking for me? That's right. Boy, I must be in really big trouble. Little girl, it gives me great pleasure to present you with this beautiful silver cup. No one has ever jumped so high and skied so far. Wow! I can't believe you didn't tell me you were a champion skier, Lulu. I guess I am. All I have to do now is learn how to stop. Lulu's top five excuses for why I didn't do my homework. Number five, my dog tried to eat it, but it was too tough even for him. <laughs> Number four, my mom tells my dad it's not good to bring work home with you, so I left mine at school. <laughs> Number three, homework? I thought you said housework. I spent all night vacuuming. <laughs> Number two, Homework's done at home, right? So that's where I left it. <laughs> and the number one excuse, I learned this from my dad, it's in the mail. <laughs> Almost there. A few more steps and I won't have to take that awful tiny tot syrup. Open wide, Lulu. I won't take it. I won't. I won't. Okay, then. Just hold the bottle. <gasps> Why do I have to take this stuff anyway? Like it says on the bottle, Tiny Tot Syrup is good for your health. But can it be good for my taste buds, too? If I could, I'd make the company change the taste. I'd like that too, dear. Then you wouldn't give me such a hard time every morning. Life would be so beautiful without Tiny Tot Syrup. Yeah! I can't stand the taste of Tiny Tots. I hate it. Gosh, Annie, take it easy. You're foaming at the mouth. That's toothpaste. I hate it too, but it tastes better than Tiny Tots. You think toothpaste bad? A whole pack of pepper gum is better than Tiny Tots. A whole pack of pepper gum? Iggy, your mouth's going to be on fire! Wow! Oh! Yuck! Tiny Tots is ruining my life. An onion's got to get rid of the taste. That does it. Margie's even crying because it tastes so bad. I'm going to the Tiny Tots factory right now to tell them to change the taste. They'll never listen to you, Lulu. You're just a kid. Oh, they'll listen all right. My daughter is perfect for this Tiny Tots commercial. I insist you audition her before anyone else. I'm afraid you'll have to wait your turn just like everyone else. I can tell just by looking at everyone else that they aren't fit to be Tiny Tots' new spokesperson. Gosh, I guess all these kids came for the same reason. Some even brought their parents. Have you ever done anything like this before? 
Oh, please. I'm a professional. Hey! My hair is not combed properly. I must use the mirror. Oh! Can you tell me where I can see the president? Get your number like everyone else. Excuse me. Yes? May I please speak with the president of Tiny Tots? I have something important I would like to tell him. Oh, finally. Someone pleasant and no stage mother. And, hmm, I think the president would like to see you. You're perfect. Follow me, please. Gosh, it's nice for a kid to be taken seriously. She's perfect. A wonderful choice. Young lady, I'm Mr. Yuck, president of Tiny Tots. How would you like to tell the whole world about our syrup? Sure, I want to tell everyone that Tiny Tots taste oh, and it's a wonderful way to yuck the day. Tiny Tots is a wonderful way to start the day. What a great slogan! We'll use it at the press conference to launch our new ad campaign. What press conference? What ads? And to think our new Miss Tiny Tots thought of it. Miss Tiny Tots? But... Uh, wait! It is my great pleasure to present to you our new Miss Tiny Tots. Yay! Imagine Lulu thinking she could make a big company change the taste of their syrup. What a dreamer! Hey, look! It's Lulu! And she's at the Tiny Tots factory. Let's get over there! And as the Tiny Tots company continues to grow, <coughs> we have complete confidence <coughs> that our syrup... Would you like something to drink, <coughs> Mr. Yuck? Why, yes, please, Miss Tiny Tots. Thank you. Now, <coughs> as I was saying, Tiny Tots syrup is the most popular supplement in the world. It's good for you, <clears throat> and it tastes... <laughs> Yuck! What is this stuff? It's awful! It's Tiny Tot Syrup. That's what I wanted to tell everyone. Our syrup is this bad? I mean, well, you see... Oh, dear. Mr. Yuck, now that you know how awful Tiny Tot Syrup tastes, why don't you change the recipe? But we've had this recipe for over 30 years. And it tasted just as awful back then. I'm sure that was just an older bottle. I know a fresh bottle will be just fine. Oh, no, it won't. <laughs> that is absolutely, positively, without question, the worst thing I've ever tasted in my whole life. How can you kids drink it? We don't have a choice. Well, we will change the taste. Thanks to you, Miss Tiny Tots. Can you stop calling me that? There she is. Hi, Lulu. Hey, gang. They're going to change the taste of Tiny Tots syrup. Oh, yes! 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 My goodness. Well, the next time Lulu says she's going to do something, I'm going to believe her. Camping with your parents isn't exactly a picnic. It's always, we're only bringing the bare necessities. And they pack forks, knives, an electric cheese grater, and lawn chairs. I think it's amazing how many bare necessities they can stuff into a station wagon, but the least they could do is bring stuff a bear can use. <laughs> and speaking of bears, everyone knows you can't leave food out when you're camping because it'll attract bears. I've never actually seen a bear while camping, but in case I ever do, my dad said if I lie down and don't move, it'll leave me alone. And he should know. It works for him every Sunday when my mom wants him to do work around the house.
Just look at him. All fancy free because it's Christmas Eve. It sickens me. And just because they were good all year long. And I know Santa will bring me the baseball mitt I asked for because I was so good all year long. I bet we get everything we asked for. At least we were good. Sheesh. We can't help it if we're naughty sometimes. <sighs> yeah, we make a few small mistakes and Santa holds it against us. Just once I'd like the girls to worry about what Santa won't bring them for Christmas. <laughs> now there's an idea. So, when Santa comes down the chimney, Iggy throws the net huh? over him, me and Willie tie him up, and Eddie grabs the presents. <gasps> you can't do that, Tubby. Then lots of people won't get presents. That's just too bad. <laughs> Trapping Santa is illegal. Come on, let's go tell Officer McNabb. What? What seems to be the problem, Lulu? Some boys are going to trap Santa and steal all his toys. And there's no worse crime than hurting Santa Claus. Except maybe keeping the Easter Bunny as a pet. Oh, well, don't you worry. I'll go along with Santa, and if anyone makes any trouble, they'll wind up in jail. Gee, thanks, Officer McNabb. Let's go, girls. Maybe I better warn the boys. I don't want them to go to jail for the rest of their lives on Christmas Eve. What do you want? Listen, fellers, Officer McNabb will be with Santa tonight and he's expecting trouble. Well, so what? Officer McNabb can't go down a chimney, so he'll never know what's happening inside. What? <laughs> I've just got to warn Santa, but it's too late to write a letter. So I'll just warn him myself. What are you doing, Tubby? Well, I'm gonna hide behind the sofa, Mom, and wait for Santa. Hmm. Jim, Tubby just told me he's going to stay up for Santa. Oh, really? <laughs> well, you just leave it to me, Ellie. Oh, what a dear. Sleeping soundly. Somebody's got to warn Santa, or a lot of people won't get any presents. What you doing, Mom? Well, I'm sure climbing down all those chimneys is hard on poor old Santa, so I thought I'd open a window for him. I hope Santa shows up soon. <gasps> it's him! It's Santa! Don't go in there, Santa. Wow, Santa! No, don't go. What about my presents? Santa, you're walking into a trap. What are you trying to do, Lulu? Police, help! Police! What on earth is going on down here? Oh! The light. Put it out. Oh, Who called the police? Ho, ho, ho. Hey, son, I mean, boy, don't pull Santa's beard. Whoa! Two, go get Santa! Hey! Tubby's the one you want to arrest, not Santa. The boys were going to trap him. What? Gee, Lulu, we were only fooling. None of the other fellas are here. Well, how was I to know? Oh, boy! Santa left his bag! Wow! A new detective kit and a truck, a train, a new mitt. Hey! That mitt was for me! I bet Santa made a getaway on his sleigh. Let's drive Lulu home and then find him. It shouldn't be too hard. Santa doesn't have any pants. Why would Santa do this to me? I was good all year long. Oh. I forgot that time I put mud in Tubby's hat and when I didn't share my apple pie with my friends. I guess Santa remembers everything. He's got an even better memory than Mom. Lulu, our 
Aren't you going to come down to see if Santa was here? <laughs> wow! Santa did come! Even without his pants! I'll go to Tubby's just to show I'm not mad at him. Merry Christmas, Tubby! Merry Christmas, Lulu. Come on in. But we gotta be real quiet. My father's got an awful headache. Gee, that's too bad, Mr. Tompkins. But did Santa bring you what you wanted? day when Tubby and I were walking down the street, pow! He smacked right into a telephone pole and fell on the sidewalk. Now, usually I'd feel sorry for him, but this time I got mad. You know why he walked into the pole? Because he was looking at Gloria on the other side of the street. She's such a knockout, he said. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, she's beautiful, but take away those golden curls. Those blue eyes. The heart-shaped lips. The waddling walk. And what do you got? You, said Tubby. So I showed Tubby that I could be a knockout, too. where I end up painting a fence for you, is it? Oh, no, Lulu. This time, I want you not to do something for me. Okay, and you're welcome. Bye, Tubby. No, wait. I just want you not to give me back my piggy bank. I'm afraid I'll spend some money before I save three whole dollars. I just need 50 cents more. But what if you ask for some? No matter what, don't give it back until I hand you 50 cents. Gee, Tubby must be saving for something really special. Hi, Lulu. I need a quarter. Uh-uh, Tubby. You told me not to give it back no matter what. Give me it, you little thief. Help! Police! Robbery! Police! All oh, right. What's going on here? Gosh, Tubby, you don't have to holler like that. Here. I want you to keep it. But you just asked for it. See here now. Who does this belong to? It's mine. There. There. Jeez, Lulu. Haven't you got no willpower? What do you want three dollars for anyway, hmm? I'm um, saving up to buy a certain someone something special. That's so sweet, Tuppy. What are you going to buy this special person? Something a girl would really, really like. Oh, boy. Well, see you later. Tubby's getting me a present. Tubby's getting me a present. Tubby's getting me a present. I'm getting Gloria flowers. I'm getting Gloria flowers. And then we went to Paris, France for lunch. Maybe you'd like to come next time. Uh, hi, Gloria. Hi, Tubby. Uh, Gloria, what would you think if a boy gave you flowers? A boy like, uh, me? <laughs> what are flowers when you can go to Paris, France? Oh, I love flowers, Tubby. So much that I just might give you a kiss. You wouldn't kiss him, would you? Oh, boy. I was hoping she'd say that. I just got to get that 50 cents, and then I'll buy her a big bouquet. Oh, maybe she'll give me an even bigger kiss. But I need 50 cents. I need 50 cents. I need 50... <laughs> if you're lost, this will help you find your way. Wow! A real genuine compass, and it's only a dollar. Oh, I want it. 
I need it. I need a dollar. Ah, Lulu. Hi, Lulu. I really need a dollar. Hmm. You're not getting it back until you have three whole dollars. I better find a good hiding place for this piggy bank. Well, the coast is clear. I guess old Tubby learned his lesson. Like the old saying goes, if you can't beat them, try harder. Time for some delicate detective work. I can't find it. Oh, it looks like I'm gonna have to earn the money to buy the compass. Gee, I really made a mess. I better clean this place up. Oh my gosh! I better clean this up fast before Mom gets home. But who did this? Tubby Tompkins. I've finished stacking those cans in a pyramid for you, Mr. Colcutts. Thank you, Tubby. And here's your pay. One whole dollar. Gee, thanks. <laughs> With this compass, I'll never get lost again. What's the big idea of wrecking my house, Tubby? Hey, I cleaned up some. Did you buy my flowers yet, Tubby? You're giving her flowers after all you put me through? You are giving me flowers, aren't you? Stop playing with that. You're not lost. Maybe it can make me lost. Oh, Gloria, I have a special something for you. Oh, Wilbur, for me? <laughs> oh, they're so beautiful. <laughs> Yuck! Here, and goodbye! Say, Lulu, what would you do if a boy, say, took you to the amusement park? Please, Lulu! No way, Tubby! I'm not doing you another favor! But I want to buy a car! You just have to keep it till I'm old enough to drive! I love going to visit my grandparents at their house because I get to watch my parents do all the things I usually do at our house. Like put out the garbage, weed the garden, clean up after the dog, and wash the car. But not me. I usually get to sit by the pool with Grandma, laughing at all the funny faces Grandpa can make with his teeth out. <laughs> the last time I was there, I noticed that parents do all the work and grandparents have all the fun. Hmm. Work or fun? No contest. When I'm through being a kid, I'm gonna skip being a parent and go straight to being a grandparent. <laughs> My mom wants me to learn how to play a musical instrument. She says, it's best if you start when you're young like Mozart. By the time he was four, he was a musical genius. <laughs> well, sure, but in his day, all the good TV shows hadn't been invented. Anyway, she told me to pick an instrument I'd like to play. Well, I thought about the piano, but nah, I'm always losing my keys. The French horn, I don't even speak the language. How am I supposed to play it? So I finally decided on the perfect instrument for someone who doesn't like practicing. The bagpipes. They're great, because nobody can tell what you're playing, and they usually tell you to stop long before you're supposed to. It's a good thing we're building our rocket ship at my top secret spot. Yeah, we don't want anyone finding out about it. Like spies, Lulu and Annie. Hello, boys. Lulu and Annie, how'd you find us? Everyone knows about your top secret spot, Tubby. What is this thing? Ha! Huh? Don't you know a rocket ship when you see one? I guess not, Tubby. Well, this one is specially made to shoot us to Mars. It's 
cancel the trip to Mars, Tubby. Looks like you're going tree climbing instead. Give me a hand, Iggy. Huh? <laughs> We're aimed at Mars. Can we come too, Tubby? Hmm. I have to check with Mission Control. <laughs> okay, Lulu. But you have to get some stuff we'll need to explore Mars. Important supplies like sandwiches. Yippee! Oh, boy! We get to do some real make-believe space exploring. <laughs> Hurry! Let's blast off before the girls get back! These might come in handy. I heard there are canals on Mars. I can't wait to swim on another planet. Ready for takeoff, Commander Annie? Aye, aye, Captain Lulu. <gasps> they left without us. Wait a minute. This isn't supposed to be real. This is pretend. <sighs> we waited a whole hour and they didn't come back. Mars must be really far away if it takes that long to get back. Huh? It's from the boys. It says, we're on Mars. It sure is swell here. Tell our moms we won't be home for supper. Gosh. Help, we're being attacked by Martians. Get the police! Oh! Help! Police! The boys are being attacked! Police! <laughs> Officer, Officer McNabb! Officer McNabb! Quick! The boys are being attacked! Attacked? Oh, goodness! Wow! Me. Where are the boys, Lulu? On Mars! <laughs> This rocket ship, and at first we thought it was just make believe, but they must have made it to Mars. Look! I think the boys are pulling your legs, young ladies. <laughs> the boys got us good this time. What a joke! They really went to the cops for help. <laughs> Hurry up and clear all this stuff away before Lulu and Annie get back. I thought we were gonna play together, but they just wanted to play a trick on us. Well, I'm good at that game, too. Hey, fellers! Thank goodness you got back. I was so worried. We tried to get Officer McNabb to help, but he didn't believe you really went to Mars. What happened? Well, right after we landed on Mars, a Martian came hopping out of a crater looking for us. So I jumped on its back. So did I. Me too. Oh, you brave, brave boys. What if those Martians come looking for you? Oh, I'm going home to hide. We got her again. Fine. Okay, Annie. You're on. A flying saucer. I saw a flying saucer. They flew through the air and I saw a Martian get out. Boy, we really scared them. Now they're starting to imagine things. Ready for blast off? Aye, aye, sir! Yikes! Look! Nah. nah. <gasps> ah! A flying saucer! Martians! This looks like... Don't move, human. <laughs> Stay away! Relax, Tubby. It's just me and Annie. You should have seen your faces. What you doing scaring us like that? What a trick! I thought that's the game you wanted to play. Well, not anymore, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, come on. Let's go to Mars for real this time. Oh, boy! Ready for blast off, Captain Tubby. Contact. Wow, Tubby, this feels so real. That's because it is real. Gosh! All that rocket needed was a little Z-Buck to plutonium nastry. Actually, this sandwich could use some too. 
notice that no one's happy with the type of hair they've got? Like my mom. She hates her hair so much, she pays someone to fix it every week. And my friend Annie, she doesn't like her straight hair. She wishes it was curly. Me, I have curly hair, and I wish it was straight. And my dad, he's the only one I know who's got nothing to complain about. My friend Annie has a cat named Dash, because it has a dash of white at the tip of its tail. It's a nice cat, but I think it's a little weird in the head. You see, the last time I was over at Annie's, I saw Dash drinking out of the toilet. Annie said cats do that all the time because the water's cool in there. What I'm wondering is, how does Annie know that? Sure. Of course I'm sure, because I'm the spider. Oh, brother, not the spider again. That's right. Just like a spider, I spin a web to catch thieves. I don't see a web. But I see a footprint. I don't. That's because you have an untrained eye, not like the spider, a master of disguises. Well, Mr. Master, you don't have a disguise. Good point. I gotta get one. This disguise is perfect. Your dad will think I'm looking the other way so I can catch him off guard. What do you mean, my dad? He's got nothing to do with Alvin's drum. Your dad took it, and I'll prove it. Lulu's dad took it? <laughs> Alvin, wait! He's taking a nap! He's always taking a nap. So you think if my dad's shoe fits the footprint you found, it proves he took Alvin's drum? Of course. It's elementary. Only there's no shoes here. This calls for drastic measures. Drastic? You mean crazy. <laughs> Come on, Alvin. Let's get out of here. My dad's gonna wake up for sure. <laughs> Hey, come back with my shoe! Stop! Huh? What kind of weird creature? I've got to get my eyes checked. Phew! That was close. Too close, Tubby. You're gonna get us in big trouble. Yeah, good thing I'm in disguise. So if the shoe can't come to the footprint, then the footprint... 
print will go to the shoe. How do I let you talk me into these things, Tubby? Huh? <gasps> when Tubby's the spider. Dad's old marching band uniform. He used to play the drum. Hey, this gives me an idea. No, Tubby, Dad'll go crazy if anything happens to that. Lulu, this drum will crack this case once and for all. Uh. Hmm. Now listen, this is what we have to do. When I find out what's going on... <gasps> if anyone steals my dad's drum, Tubby, you'll be sorry. That's just what's gonna happen. Just watch. Gosh! My dad does have Alvin's drum. I thought he would. You see, he figures the little one isn't so bad after all. I can't believe you were right. Yep. Alvin was beaten on it all this time, and your dad couldn't take his nap. <gasps> I might have known you were uh -oh. behind this, Tubby Tompkins. You won't get away from me that easily. Oops! <laughs> oh, no. I didn't want to break Alvin's drum. I just couldn't stand the noise he was making. Uh, Dad, that's your drum. My old marching drum? I guess my dad'll get his nap after all. Dad drove me to school the other day, and boy did he get mad when he got stuck behind this student driver. So he drove fast, hit the brakes, got really close, and swerved in and out of traffic, yelling, this guy doesn't know how to drive. He's going fast, hitting the brakes, getting really close, and swerving in and out of traffic. That's when I noticed that all the other people driving were mad, too, honking and yelling and waving their fists at the student driver. Even the teacher in the car was yelling. That's when I figured out why there are so many bad drivers on the road. I mean, once people graduate from driving school and get their license, they must hit the road looking for revenge. themselves to impress Gloria. It sickens me. Me too, Tubby. Tubby? Here, ma'am. Allow me to help you across this dangerous intersection. But I... It's no problem at all. Helping others is huh? what I do best. <gasps> no, no. <laughs> no need to thank me. My pleasure, ma'am. But I didn't want to cross the street. Uh-huh. Boys. My roller skating skills are sure to impress Gloria. Hi, Gloria! If you're borrowing my roller skates just so you can show off to Gloria, I'm taking them back. What? What do I have to do to get Gloria to notice me? Oh. How about getting a gold medal for bravery? 
Like that guy who saved a girl from a burning building. Wow. A gold medal for bravery. That'd do it for sure. But who could I save? You could save Gloria from drowning. Nah, she might catch cold. What about Lulu? You could save her from the rabbits. Ouch! 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 Yeah! Lulu! I could save her just before she hits the rapids on a boat! I'd be a hero for sure. But how are you gonna get her in a boat heading for the rapids? Hello, my golden swallow. You are a vision of loveliness today. What do you want to borrow, Tubby? Nothing. I just wanted to know if you'd like to go rowboating with me, my little white speckled dove. No way, Tubby. Last time we went rowboating, my arms were sore for days. <laughs> Why, I'll row, my, uh, yellow-bellied sapsucker. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Tubby. Just you sit and relax, my rose petal. Everything's under control. <sighs> Here, let me shade those delicate eyeballs from the sun. Neat. Uh oh. Your father's guitar. Oh, that's okay. I didn't know how to play it anyways. What are you looking for, Tubby? Look! It's a lake monster! Huh? Oh, my mistake. It was only a submarine. There aren't any submarines in lakes. Uh-oh! I dropped the oars. Don't worry, Tubby. I'll swim to shore and get help. No! I mean, you'll get your dress wet. I wore my swim trunks. Wow, that's pretty lucky. Hold still. I'll be back to rescue you in a sec. Hurry, Tubby. The rapids are coming up. Don't worry, Lulu. I'll save you. <laughs> We're gonna need a witness so I can get that medal. Iggy, go find Officer McNabb. Make sure she doesn't really go down the rapids, Tubby. Poor Tubby's probably really worried, and I'm drifting to shore on my own. Just grab on, Lulu, and I'll pull you in. Hey! Oops. Sorry, Lulu. Tubby! Ah! Wow! What a ride! Yeah, too bad about the waterfall. Waterfall? waterfall? Officer McNabb! Lulu's in terrible danger! Lead on! Now we've really got to save her! Hold on, Lulu! <laughs> Tubby! Right this way, Officer McNabb! <gasps> Hold on there, Tubby! You'd better let me handle this. Hey! Find your own person to rescue! <laughs> You'll get a gold medal for this, Lulu. Hiya, Lulu. I got you something for saving us. Oh, Tubby. How sweet. parents to buy you a puppy can be tough, so here's Lulu's guide to getting a dog. Number one, don't ask for a dog. Ask your parents for a lizard, a boa constrictor, a tarantula, and by the time you get to fruit bat, they'll want you to have the cutest dog in the pound. Number two, tie a string around one of your stuffed animals and take it out for a drag around the block. This works best on a sunny Saturday when all your neighbors are out mowing the lawn. And if these don't work, pull out all the stops. Tell them you want a baby brother. Before you know it, 
That dog will be yours. <laughs> the other day I had to wake up at 5 in the morning to go fishing with my dad. Why so early? It's not like the fish are swimming around going, Holy mackerel, we're going to be late for school. No, I think people get up early to go fishing because it takes so long to catch one. But that's because they're going about it all wrong. How can you catch something if you don't chase it? Think about it. A fish is just waiting around to be served a worm on a hook for breakfast? <laughs> well, maybe if it was chocolate. Anyway, my dad says that you need lots of patience to catch a fish, because you got to be good at sitting down in the same spot for a long time. Hey, so that's what my dad's been doing sitting in front of the TV all these years. He's been training for fishing. <laughs> It looks even worse upside down, Annie. Oh, joy! Edgar Van Goof is selling his newest masterpiece to my art gallery. Oh, Van Goof's a genius! The father of neo-ultra pedestrianism. What's a Van Goof? That is a Van Goof. You're right. It is pretty goofy. But what could you know about high-class art? You're just a child. Hmm. We know enough to get out of here. <laughs> ah, you've come to deliver my new masterpiece to the McFony Art Galleries. You are no doubt wondering why I'm agreeing to sell this painting, which is like a part of my soul. Not really. I must share it with the world and get the 50,000 bucks. I could show you the new pair of pants. Whatever. He's gonna get a really nice pair of pants for 50,000 smackers. I'm gonna catch the biggest fish ever with my new rod. Wow! I got a bite already. Oh boy! A flying fish! Yahoo! was some fish. That doesn't look like a fish, but we could use it for a dartboard. A fish is a dartboard? Let's go get some darts. What are those boys hiding? It's just like them to lock their clubhouse when we want to go snooping. So, it's time for the Santa routine. <laughs> painting. <gasps> Yuck! This is even worse than a Van Goofy. What do we do now? The boys will know someone sneaked in. I'll just paint a new one. There. Now we better get it back to the clubhouse before the fellers find out it's missing. Huh? What a mess. I guess Lulu's been... Hey. Wow. Lulu is a real artiste. This should hang in the Louvre. Or better yet, on our refrigerator. But first, I'll fix that rip. There. It's beautiful. <laughs> Don't lose hope. I'll stop at nothing to find your masterpiece. You... You will? Money is no object. I'll offer a huge reward. Say, 25 bucks. Those girls, that painting, it looks like... Uh-oh, it's that loony from the gallery. Hey, Lulu's the one who burgled our clubhouse. What's the big idea, Lulu, sneaking in and stealing... <laughs> Where did you get that painting? Um... What painting? That painting! There's a reward. Huh? Oh, my boy, 
I offered a reward. And I, Elmer McPhony, am a man of my word. Here you go. Fifteen dollars. Wow! Congratulations! The hoity-toity of the art world are here to witness the unveiling of your masterpiece. <laughs> Just because he's a genius doesn't excuse him from wearing pants. It was sure nice of Mr. McPhony to invite us to Van Goof's unveiling. I didn't know artists wore veils. I now present the latest masterpiece by that genius of the art world, Edgar Van Goof. I did not paint this. Oh, Hey, my friend Lulu painted that, and she didn't even need numbers. That means my painting is still missing. I'll never get my money. I'll never buy new pants. Don't cry, mister. I know where your painting is. It's next to my mom's shopping list. Your mother is an artistic genius. It runs in the family. My painting. <gasps> Here, Mr. Van Goof. <laughs> well, at least his masterpiece was good for something. My mother does these amazing exercises with her face in front of the mirror. Because she wants to look younger, she says. Well, I don't know about that, but I think she's forgotten what she always tells me when I make faces. Lulu, if you don't stop, your face will stay that way. Or maybe she does remember, and she's looking for the way she wants her face to stay. Ever wonder where babies come from? Well, I decided to find out and asked my mom where I came from. And you know what she said? Go ask your father. So I did, and you know what he said? Go ask your mother. I guess they don't remember where I came from. So I asked Tubby, and at least he had an answer. Kinda. He said he's from New Jersey, and how's he supposed to know where I come from? Mrs. Moppet, is Lulu home? Oh, no, no! And a special hello to you, Mr. Moppet. Happy birthday! <gasps> Why, thank you, Tubby. Nice of you to remember. And I hear my little... Lulu? I can't believe it! I forgot Dad's birthday! At least I've got 50 cents, so I can buy him a present. Oops! Fifty cents? You need at least a dollar for a quality present. Phew. I must be able to afford something. Maybe in this swap shop. Like those earrings. Or that hat. How about those old roller skates? Hmm. <laughs> Dad's allergic to roller skates. They make him break out in bumps. I know where to get a great present. Gosh, Tubby, thanks. <laughs> the perfect gift. Good old Tubby. I can always count on him. So, what'd you get? Sorry, it started melting. I'm too sad to be mad. I feel sick about this, Lulu. Of course, it could be the ice cream. But I'll make it up to you! Your dad sure has a lot of junk. Hey, 
This isn't junk. These are all the birthday presents I gave him. Oh, boy. Just the thing. Dads love these things. Dad hates fish. He's always grouchy when we have fish for dinner. Dad loves chocolate mousse, though. So I bet he'd like a real one. I didn't know he liked it so much. I can't wait to see Dad's face when I give him his present. Go! Uh, Lulu, where's the fish? I swapped this moose for it. But my dad's going crazy. I gotta get the fish back. Oh! But what about my dad's present? Ow! I don't know about this, Tubby. Your plan sounds kind of fishy to me. <gasps> Swap? Please, please, please! Cheer up, Dad. When Mr. Bubbles gets bigger, you can catch him. Thanks, son, but it just won't be the same. <laughs> <gasps> Dear, come quick. Big Red, you've come back! This calls for a celebration! Ooh, your dad may be happy, but what about my dad? Now we make a swap. What do you mean you only had one moose? Happy birthday, Dad! Lulu, sweetheart, I thought you'd forgotten your old dad's birthday. It's a genuine, solid iron Civil War cannonball. No kidding. Just my luck. Oh, 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 oh. Everything worked out just fine. Lulu, go. Ah. That's it, Dad. Take the weight off your toe. You deserve it. Huh. Oh. Uh. Ah. Swap! Say, Tubby, <gasps> did I ever tell you how I caught Big Red? Oh, no. It's a long story. First, I put the worm on the hook, but not just any worm. Well, Darn that, worm. Tubby. I've got to put a stop to this. Hey! Hey, Tubby! Play ball? Hiya, fellas. Coming! Sorry, Dad. Gotta go. And then Big Red bit. <laughs> hey, where's my mitt? Lulu! Wait up, Lulu. You took my mitt and swapped it for that cannonball, didn't you? Tubby, how could you say such a thing? I swapped it for two cannonballs. Now I'm all ready for Dad's next birthday. But my mitt... How do I get it back? Easy. Not that fish again. <laughs> Ever been on a long car trip with your parents? Pretty boring, huh? Like, how much fun can a kid have staring at the back of someone's head for eight hours? But if you've got a kid brother, things can get pretty exciting. First, there's the big fight over who gets the window seat. And no matter what your parents say, two kids can still fight over two windows. Or say, Dad, Billy's put his head through the sunroof. And wait to see how long it takes them to realize the car doesn't have a sunroof. Or tell your brother to hit the floor and then ask your parents, how come little Billy didn't get back in the car at the last gas station? Then sit back and enjoy yourself. A long car trip can be fun.
Hey, uh, did you hear about the big bank heist? At 10 o'clock this morning, the first federal bank was robbed. The bank robbers escaped with $10,000. Gosh, bank robbers. Shh, Tabby. Shh, I'm undercover. I'm on lesson three of my detective course, trailing suspicious suspects. You mean the bank robbers? What bank robbers? We repeat, big heist at First Federal. Bank robbers escape with 10,000. Oh boy, a real crime. <gasps> and there's our suspect. Why is he our suspect? Because he's glancing around in a suspicious way. Maybe he's looking both ways before he crosses the street. That's what he wants us to think. Here it is. <clears throat> when suspect has been identified, note details of features, build, and dress. Suspect is a man. Um... Taller than me? Gosh! He just ran into the street at the wrong time. See? Detectives are trained to be very observant. Where'd she go? Come on, that guy is suspicious. I'm gonna go in and get his fingerprints with my official detective fingerprint powder. And you're gonna distract him for me. You can get your fingerprints from the door where he pushed it open. Right. Uh, <laughs> we'll get fresh ones instead. Oops. Sorry, mister. Yeah. Thanks, Sonny. Hey, mister! out the taste of all that expensive fingerprint powder he swallowed. He's only pretending to drink. Here it is. Shoes are a good indicator of where a suspect has been. Look closely for dust and mud. Dust and mud? We're looking for bank robbers, not cowboys. I'm going in for a closer look. You distract him again. Ow! Hmm. Huh? Hey, I don't care why you two are after me, but beat it! We need a hair sample. What? A hair sample? It says here we can match it with one from the scene of the crime. Okay, but I don't know how much hair you lose robbing a bank. Ow! I got the hair, and he was reading the newspaper upside down. Come on, he's leaving the park. Oh, boy, he's a burglar, too. Give me a boost. Gee, it's so dark, I can't see a thing. Tie him up, Stripes. Okay, but after the sock I gave him, I don't even need him. Yikes! Officer McNabb, oh. <gasps> quick! Some men are tying somebody up in a house! This house, right here! All right, let's go. Shh. Hey. hey! What have we got here? You've got a couple of bank robbers, Officer McNabb. Detective Johnson, what are you doing here? Detective Johnson? I was following this one to their hideout when this one slugged me. But we, we were following you. you. Huh? Lulu and Tubby led us to you. Well, I guess I owe you an apology, kids. 
You two are real detectives. Local kids Lulu Muppet and Tubby Tompkins were presented with special junior detective badges at City Hall today for their part in the capture of two notorious bank robbers. Look, Tubby, it's Detective Johnson. He's following that lady. I've seen her before. Officer McNabb was following her, too. Taxi! There's no escape, ma'am. We've got you covered. Ah, Detective Lulu, Detective Tubby. I'd like you to meet my mother. Last time it rained, I wanted to go to a movie, but my mom was too busy to take me, so she told me to use my imagination and make my own fun. So I skated around the kitchen floor in my socks playing hockey. I had the puck, I took a shot, and broke a jug. And that's when Mom ran in and threw me out of the game. Then I piled up all the pillows and made believe I was a mountain climber. But an avalanche came down and broke a lamp. And that's when Mom ran in and chased me off the mountain. And then I was a spy on a secret mission, and I hid in the closet and yelled, Gotcha! when my mom opened the door. And that's when Mom lost it and took me to that movie. <laughs> mission accomplished. <laughs> notice that grown-ups act pretty weird around babies? First, they get away with doing all kinds of weird things with their faces. I bet if they did that walking down the sidewalk, they'd probably get arrested. But what's even worse is the way grown-ups talk to babies. I once saw a mother lean down into a baby carriage and say, Oopsie wootsie snookum wookums. I looked in and there was this baby just staring up at this lady thinking, I'm sure you're a very nice lady, but you're making no sense at all. So naturally, the mother said, how's my sweetie weedy poopy whoopy? Well, if you ask me, if that's how parents speak to their babies, it's no wonder it takes them so long to learn how to talk. dear. Unless your father is sitting on it. Hey! You don't have my doll's wig, do you, Mr. Moppet? I'm used to losing hair, Annie, not finding it. Hmm. This sounds like a job for... The spider can catch your thief, and I even know who it is already. You do? Who? Your dad, of course. He could use some hair. Well, for your information, he doesn't have it. I'll prove he took it. But first, I need a disguise. <laughs> Why couldn't he just get into his disguise at your house, Lulu? That'd be too simple. Just get me into your living room so I can keep an eye on your dad. <sighs> Tubby! Hey! What's going on? My first rescue of a runaway plant. I hope it's the last. <gasps> what? Thanks for saving my plant, Officer McNabb. Lulu, did you know it talks? Sometimes it doesn't stop. Uh, what I meant is that um, it's a, a, a special, um... Talking Mother's Day gift. Talking Mother's Day gift. Well, that explain. <gasps> Mother's Day? Oh, no. I forgot Mother's Day. <laughs> <sighs> the things I do in the line of duty. Us, too. Uh, Pop, this is a special Mother's Day gift. What a nice plant. Feels dry. It needs some water. Gosh. I have half a mind to drop this case. At least you don't smell like garbage anymore. 
Here's a new disguise, Tubby. Oh, no. No. Well, I suppose that sometimes on difficult cases, a detective will dress like a lady. And now for the final touch. You look swell, Tubby. <laughs> Your mother's hat was a great idea, Lulu. Your father won't suspect a thing. When we're with my dad, I'll say, there's a mouse under the chair. And I'll search him, find the wig, and solve the case. Oh, no! Mouse! <coughs> a mouse! Oh, hey! Don't worry. I'll get it. Get off! <laughs> hey, look out for the... Nice meeting you. Lulu, we really must have a talk about your choice of friends. Sure. Did you find the wig? I don't know. I found a whole bunch of things in his pocket. Say, do you smell smoke? Uh oh. Ouch! Ow! 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 I'm burning! <laughs> oh. Oh. Tubby, you ruined my dress <laughs> and my mom's hat. Your father's pipe. Doesn't he know smoking is bad for your health? I don't know what's worse to have in the house, a thief or a detective. Let's get Tubby another disguise. <gasps> I had to customize your dad's clothes, so he'll think I'm a real detective. I think he's going to think something else. Where did you get that hat and coat? That's what I thought he'd think. You have to come down sometime, and I'll be waiting for you. Hey, Lulu, I solved the case. The mother bird must have flown into your room and taken the wig. She made a nest out of it. Gee, Tubby, you really are a good detective. But I guess I can't take the wig back now. Sure you can. Yippee! <gasps> there, case solved. Gee, thanks, Tubby. But what about those little birds? Don't worry about it, Annie. Tubby thought of them, too. Want to play some more hide-and-seek? How about if we just play hide? Aren't feet weird? And toes bizarre. Not to mention ugly and... Ugh. Well, you get the point. I mean, you'd think that when they were designing the human body, they could have come up with something better than feet to put on the end. Something more fun. <laughs> like a bike. <laughs> I finally convinced my parents to take me to the amusement park the other day, and boy, was it great! We ate popcorn, pizza, and pink cotton candy, and then we went on the rumble, the zapper, and the twist. It was so much fun! I guess that's why they call it an amusement park. Funny, my parents didn't look too amused. They just looked sick. liked your lunch, dear. But did you have to bring it home with you? This is the place. They're only a dollar. Funny. All of a sudden, I'm hungry. <laughs> we can share. <laughs> what about this one, sweetheart? <laughs> Thank you. 
See, Tubby, this is how you treat a lady. Um, aren't you forgetting something? Your rolls, monsieur. <gasps> We don't need to see the menu, because we'll have whatever it is people are eating for a dollar. Ah, the frog legs. <gasps> a marvelous choice. And for your main course? <gasps> Monsieur did not pay for the rolls! <laughs> people eat frog legs? They actually pay for them and eat them, too? I know where they could get their own frogs, and for free. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I bet if we catch lots of frogs, that restaurant will buy them. Then we could pay for the rolls you took. I didn't steal them. Rolls are free at restaurants. Well, this is it. The last time we were here, the swamp was full of frogs. I hope they don't remember that you scared them off with rocks. Oh, frogs are too dumb to... Remember? This might be trickier than we thought. Here I come, Tubby! Shoo, Froggy! Shoo, Froggy! Hey, shake a leg! Shoo! Shoo! Gotcha! Good catch! But don't squeeze him! That's in case he gets hungry. We don't want a frog with skinny legs. <gasps> That's my mother's head! Cover. She'll be really mad. Whoa. <laughs> Listen to that frog croak. I bet he's laughing at us. If I were him, I'd laugh too. Us fellers built a raft last time we came. We could use it to get the hat box cover. And teach those frogs who's boss around this swamp. Those frogs think they're so smart, but we'll get them if we camouflage the raft. Come on! When we get near the frogs, remember to duck into the leaves. I'll help! Now we're cooking! No, we're not! We're sinking! This raft will never sink! Too bad we're not on it. I've had enough of this. I'm getting my hat box cover, and that's it. Yeah, darn. No more frog hunting for me. You've got to expect a little trouble, Lulu. You call getting outsmarted by frogs a little trouble? I bet we can still catch some. No. Wow. Good thing you grabbed those rolls. We got them. I knew this was a good idea. I couldn't help myself. I had to have more of those delicious frog legs. Well, we've got a whole box full you can eat. I think I've had one too many. I wonder where that maitre d' is. This is pretty important. Maybe we should only talk to the maitre a. Ah, Mademoiselle and Monsieur are back for more rolls, I see. Well, they are only free if you eat a meal. You'll be giving us more than free rolls when you see what we've got. We have some frogs here for you. Lots of frogs. Freshly caught frogs with two legs each. Frogs? For me? See? No! <laughs> ah! huh? Huh? And then my boss mm. said, hey, wait. <laughs> A frog in your throat, dear. Gosh, why is everyone afraid? Where do they think frog legs come from, anyway? Oh, no. Oops. You... you are responsible. You must get rid of these frogs! <laughs> Please, help me! I'll pay you a nickel apiece to get rid of them. Sure! Wow, there's sure a lot of money in frogs. But I don't want them to be eaten after all. We should let them go. Okay, Lulu. The frog legs here are better than the last place. Oh, 
Oh, we'll let them go, all right, in this restaurant. Ever think about how some words are really funny when you put them together? Like toilet training. I mean, what would you train a toilet to do? Roll over and fetch? <laughs> Maybe an attack toilet would keep burglars away. But I think a dog would be better and definitely easier to walk. <laughs> and then there's fly fishing. Not only would the hooks have to be teensy-weensy, but what would you use for bait? <laughs> and let's not forget baby powder. Do you just add water and presto baby? <laughs> well, let me tell you, that's not how it works. I know, because I whipped up a batch with water, and you know what I got? I got yelled at for making a mess. your father is doing? Okay, Mom. What you doing, Dad? I thought you went to buy wood for a new bookshelf. Huh, new wood is too expensive, so I'm using some of these extra floor supports. I need a hand. Could you please ask your mother to come down? Okay. Whoa! Rat! <laughs> On second thought, maybe I will go and buy some wood. I'd sure like to help my dad find that wood he needs. Hey, maybe Tubby and the boys know. They used wood to make their clubhouse. Hiya, fellas! Uh -oh. <laughs> hey, give me back my marble, Iggy. Fellas, can we ask you a question? No. Can't you see we're having a club meeting? It's members only. If we were members, then could we ask you a question? No! no. The day we let girls into the club is the day we move our clubhouse. <laughs> Ow! Now look at what you did. That's why we don't let girls in our club. Fine. Hmm. Lower. Stores will be built on this spot. So they're finally going to tear down this old building. I think I know where we're going to get some really cheap wood after all. <laughs> this is a great idea. Hey, who put that sign there? Whoever's building stores here. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll have to move the clubhouse. To where? There are no other empty lots around anywhere. I think we can trick someone into letting us use their backyard if we let them into the club. Lulu! <laughs> no! But we gotta save the clubhouse. Okay. You're right. <laughs> Gee. Huh? Say, Lulu, wanna join our club? No. You could be president. You'll be boss, and you can do anything you want. Only if Annie can be a member, too. She said yes, fellers. Old Tubby sure can handle women. Fellers, meet President Lulu. President? Come back after lunch for your first meeting as President Lulu. See you later, boys. Don't worry. She'll have no real say. Oh. Just like a grown-up president. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Say, what are you doing? Don't you remember? I said the day we let girls into the club is the day we move the clubhouse. 
And as president, you get the honor of leading the way. Huh? We'll push. Gee, we sure elected a strong president. Fellers, mind if we take a shortcut? How do you know where we're going? Women's intuition. I don't like the sound of that. Ah! Now let's take the real shortcut. Ah! Piggy, go see where we're going. You call that a proper turn signal? Look at that. They're even making cars out of wood. And I can't find enough cheap wood for a lousy bookshelf. Right on time. Right by the time I got finished with you on. Improper turn, speeding, and taking a policeman's uniform? What is this? A $5 ticket is what it is. Where will we get $5? Right here. I'll buy some of this wood for $5. Thank you. <laughs> This'll do just fine. <laughs> well, I don't like it. You shouldn't have tricked us, Lulu. You said when I was president, I could do anything I want. So, one lump or two? <laughs> Today in class, the nutritionist said, you are what you eat. And you know what? I found out she's right. At lunch in the cafeteria, I saw our nutty science teacher eating nuts. And Biff Bentley, the big school show-off, was eating a hot dog. And then when I got home, my dad was in his usual spot on the sofa watching TV, but he was eating potato chips. And then Mom came in and told him he was a big couch potato. So then I started thinking that being what you eat can come in really handy. Like for my big math test tomorrow. Instead of studying, I asked Mom for something really special for dinner. Brains! <laughs> Last week when our art teacher took us to a museum to see all the paintings, she said that a picture's worth a thousand words. Well, I saw one called Lady with an Apple. That's only four words. Some of the other paintings were worth more words than that, like very, 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 very weird and really, 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 really bizarre. But then it got so crowded, us kids couldn't see anything. Our teacher said it's because all these people came to see art. Well, I don't know if they came to see art or Fred or anyone else. I think everybody just came to see the paintings of naked people. Finally, our class saw something that was only one word, but it was the most exciting thing we saw all day. It was called the exit. Mom, Dad, look at this. It says here that this baby weighed 18 pounds when it was delivered. Oh, my. Hey! It must have been a very hard delivery. Babies delivered, Mom? The mailman or by courier? Well, yes. Well, you see, babies um, are uh, delivered by the uh, by the stork. The stork? How does the stork know where to bring him? How does he get in? Ask your father, Lulu. Dad, how can a stork get a baby into a house? Dad? Why, uh, through the chimney, Lulu. Huh? The chimney? Yes, dear. Just like Santa. Oh! Phew. 
You be sure to find the kittens a good home, Tubby. Don't worry, Mrs. Wrigley. These kittens are in good hands with me. Here's two dollars for your trouble. Thank you, Mrs. Wrigley. Hey, stop! Hi, Annie. Why so glum? My mother says we're expecting a baby any day. Oh, aren't you lucky? I'd give anything for the stork to come to my house with a baby. Phooey, I don't want another sister like Annie. And I don't need another brother like Iggy. I'd rather have kittens. Heck, I'd rather have measles. I wish that stork would take a wrong turn and leave my new sister at your house, Lulu. <laughs> what are you looking at? Hmm, maybe it doesn't have to make a wrong turn. Hello, Mom? Do storks deliver kittens, too? She went to get my dad. He's the stork expert. I'm starting to wonder how they ever got me. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. What you doing, Tubby? I'm teaching these kittens to climb trees, and this one picked it up right away. Maybe you should teach them how to climb down. I was just about to do that when you lucky fellas came along. Lucky? You bet. I'm gonna give you first pick. You can have any kitten you want. Yuck! You got any puppies? Yeah! Kittens are for girls! How about a kiss for a little kitten, Gloria? Nope. How about for a dollar and a kiss? Nothing doing, Tubby Tompkins. We'll take two kittens for two dollars if you promise not to kiss us. So, hey, that's not right. That's all I had. Do you think the stork will get it? Sure. My dad says storks are really smart. When it comes to your house, he'll follow these pictures to my house, deliver the baby, and then deliver the kittens to you. Whoa! Try not to have a baby is sure a lot of work. Hiya, Tompkins. I hear you're paying kids to take these kittens off your hands. Um, <laughs> how much are you gonna pay me for my mom's birthday present? I sure hope it's high enough for the stork to see. We better hurry, Lulu. I think the stork's coming with my kittens. You guys better get home and wait for the stork. Okay, bye. Bye. <gasps> Gosh, that stork sure is fast. Too fast. He got it all mixed up. I better get these kittens over to Annie's. Maybe the stork's still there. Congratulations, kids. You have a new baby brother. A brother? Hooray for the stork! Another brother? Uh, I bet my parents will never make the switch now. I better get to Lulu's fast. What'd you do with the kittens, Tompkins? The stork gave you my kittens by mistake, Tubby. Where are they? Uh, I'll show you, Annie. See, boys, the kittens belong to Annie. Sorry. Darn. I'll have to pay for my mom's birthday present now. Lulu said she was going to your house, Annie. Hi, Mrs. Inch. It looks like that crazy stork messed up. It was supposed to give me the baby and Annie the kittens. Oh, don't be silly, Lulu. Storks don't deliver babies. Are those my kittens? Yep, that's definitely them. Well, if storks don't deliver babies, who does? An owl? Penguins? Maybe some other bird? The other day I was walking down the sidewalk with Tubby when... Yow! He pushed me right into the street. I couldn't believe it. But you know why he did it? Because he didn't want me to walk under a ladder. It's supposed to be bad luck, he said. 
Well, that might be true, but if you ask me, it's worse luck to be run over by a truck. Today in science class, we learned all about Neanderthal man. He was this fellow with scraggly hair, a huge sloping forehead, only one big eyebrow, and he walked all hunched over. My teacher said he disappeared thousands and thousands of years ago, so I asked him, hey, when did you get back? It's quiet. It's like everyone's hiding. <laughs> Everyone is hiding. <laughs> Annie? Gloria? What are you doing? We're crying. She's crying. I'm just upset. Those awful West Side Boys did this. West Side Boys? Where? Out there somewhere. And just look at what they did to my dress. You just need some water to wash it off, Gloria. Here's some water. <laughs> nice shot, Spike. <laughs> <laughs> you West Side boys should be ashamed of yourselves going around doing mean stuff to girls. Nice shot, Spike. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm a girl too. It's time those West Side boys learned it's not nice to be mean to people. <laughs> that was more fun than what we did to the girls. <laughs> she was so tubby in his gang. <laughs> oh! I hope the boys are okay. Tubby? <laughs> Those West Side boys sure have some nerve flooding our clubhouse. They've been on our side of town all day doing terrible things to us girls. <laughs> this is the worst day of my life! Who do they think they are playing tricks on our girls? We're the ones that are supposed to do that. What are you gonna do about this, Tubby? Yeah, aren't you fellas gonna get even with those West Side boys? Yeah! Let's go get them. We can't do anything. Those West Side boys are bigger than us. Yeah, forget it. They're bigger than us. Well, I'm not going to let them get away with it. Right. Even if we have to show them ourselves. Right. <gasps> West Side boys. Run. Hide. Get out of here. <laughs> That's Mr. O'Hooligan's goat. He butts something awful. This way! <laughs> oh, please don't hurt me. I'm just a little helpless girl. <laughs> Show us where those kids went, and we'll think about it. They went in there. Good girl. Come on, boys. I guess you weren't talking about that kind of kid. <sighs> Just wait. We better not see you girls again. <laughs> that was great, Annie. Now I have to sew my dress. I'd just throw it out if I were you. <laughs> we'll do some sewing, all right. Maybe we should have helped those girls. Those West Side boys will cream those girls if they try anything. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. We gotta make sure nothing too bad happens to our girls. I 
said, give me that cone, squirt. Ah! You little... Forget him, Spike. Look! Yeah, you can't catch us. you lucky. I just happen to have a needle and thread to fix your pants. If you want. No way! Okay. I guess you don't mind if all the girls in the neighborhood see your underwear. Okay, fix our pants. But don't look. Okay. I won't look. Yow! Look! Look! Please, look! Hey! You leave our women alone. Or what? Or... Well, well, you'll see. I'm done. Ugh. She sewed us together. Yoo-hoo! Annie! Gloria! <gasps> wow! Come on down, but watch the nail. How did you do it, Lulu? I told you we were gonna show those West Side boys, but we decided to sew them instead. Any last words, West Side boys? Uncle! I think you mean aunt. Parents think revenge is immature. It's always, Lulu Moppa, don't be childish, or Lulu, I'm very disappointed with you. It's never nice going, Lulu. You really got Tubby back good. He'll be picking grass out of his shorts for weeks. Like, whatever happened to rewarding someone with a little encouragement? Instead, parents tell us to act grown up. Like, eat your broccoli. It's never go park the car. Anyway, my mother tells me revenge is childish and no one ever gets away with it. And then she makes me wash the dishes for making a mess in the living room. Boy, my mom sure gets away with revenge. Except that she doesn't call it that. She calls it discipline. eyesight isn't very good, and you were wearing a dress the last time she saw you. Oh, Mom! I was in disguise solving a big case. <coughs> Whatever you say, dear. I'll be back soon. Hi, Mrs. Tompkins. Is Tubby home? <gasps> Mom, if word gets out that I got a doll, my reputation would be ruined. You're my best friend. I gotta hide this thing. I'm sorry, Lulu. Oh, sometimes Tubby just forgets his manners. Tubby, I came to give you your birthday present, even if you did slam the door in my face. I love you! Oh, Tubby! What a nice thing to say! Huh? You don't have to be afraid to say how you feel. Here! Gee, thanks! Oh, what a great lamp! Whoa! Come on, Lulu. Uh, let's play catch. You go and wait in the park, and I'll be right there. Start without me. How can I play catch with myself? What's the matter with you, anyway? Don't you like my present? You just wait. <sighs> wait a minute. Tubby's acting strange. Well, stranger than usual. I bet he's up to something. 
I'm gonna hang around and see just what. Let's play house! Let's play garbage can. If the fellers see me with a doll, they'll kick me out of the club for sure. Hey, I know. I'll give it to Lulu, but she can't know it's from me. Of course, this is a job for the spider, master of disguise. Once I don my disguise, I'll just make my way over to Lulu's. Nothing can go wrong, and no one will recognize me, even the fellers. Let's go get Tubby for the ball game. He's the best hitter in town. See? <laughs> the girls. <laughs> Pass the girl test. <gasps> What's Aunt Martha doing in my fantasy? Well, hello there, young man. At least she knows I'm a boy. A doll? For me? How perfect! But where did it come from? <laughs> now the perfect plan goes into action for real. I guess this will have to do. Finally, I knew it. He is up to something. But what? Nothing can go wrong. <laughs> hey, that looks like Tubby. This should be good. Hey, Tubby! <gasps> Come on, Iggy. Let's play ball. But what about Tubby? Forget Tubby. He can't hit a ball to save his life. Okay, fellers! <laughs> Hi, would you like to skip rope with us? No. Can we see your dolly? No. Oh, come on. I won't drop her. I'm extra graceful. Girl obviously never learned proper manners. That's no new girl. That's old Tubby. The nerve of Tubby trying to trick us that way. Let's get him. Oh, Tubby, my favorite niece. What a pretty dress you're wearing. And you're playing with the doll I gave you. Oh, gotta get to Lulu's and fast. What a nice girl my Tubby is, taking her doll to her friend Lulu's house to play. Doll? My house? I'm gonna get there first. Hey, that girl stole our ball. That's no girl. I told you, that's Tubby. Let's get him. No, I don't want to play house. I... Uh, you, you said Tubby. H how? Okay, Tubby, out with it. Oh, my aunt gave me this doll. I don't want it. Please take it away. No one can know. There he is. There he is. Where's Ray? Oh. You've got so nerve. You've got so nerve. I love you. Huh? Oh, Tubby, giving me a present on your birthday. How sweet. I love it. Hey, everyone. Tubby's buying us sodas. What? I love you. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> sodas on me. Yay! Hey, wait a minute. Tubby's wearing a dress. <laughs> Worried you're getting older and turning into a grown-up? Well, here's Lulu's surefire quiz to prove you're still a kid. Is your idea of a well-balanced meal A, fish, vegetables, and rice, or B, a cupcake in each hand? Do you use a knife and fork A, all the time, or B, only when someone's looking? Or when you get out of a bath, do the wrinkles A, go away after 10 minutes, or B, not at all? And when you brush and floss at night, are your teeth A, in your mouth, or B, in a glass on the sink?